Well, 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 if it isn't my old friend, Red Hallway. The Red Hallway. <laughs> <laughs> See hey, it's my old so... buddy M Mondo. No, fuck Yoko. <laughs> Not going to even acknowledge her. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hey, man, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? It looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come up, come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Uh, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in the sauna. Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me! But, you know... <laughs> there at the edge of, a, of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. But that's a wall. <laughs> Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. What was he talking about? Don't know. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. You can so, say that again. Are we going uh, to gym? Gym. Ah, gym. So, what do you think Monokuma wants to talk to us about in the gym? Where the fuck are you going? I don't know where the gym is. I've forgotten. Is it, it in here? Go for the gates. Go for okay. the gates. Is these, are these those gates he was talking about? <laughs> what do you think Monokuma wants to talk to us about in the gym? I don't know. Mm. Got any hints? Um, well, he's bored. Ah, some new new way to entice... Dude, the exit was right here all along! Fuck, let's go... <laughs> <laughs> what what are you doing? Uh, the main hall. This is just the exit, you realise. No, no, it's the main hall, with the giant vault door. Oh, right, okay. Why does it have a fire exit above it, then? So what do you think it is? Oh yeah, the, the new. If he's the, bored, you, then it's some sort of uh, some sort of motivation for people to kill each other. Was my was my hint too obvious? <clears throat> Asking us together together all of a sudden like this, what could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. <laughs> My buddy, how's this buddy? You can't smile like a normal bum when it's in a bum. Like how the housewife in the classic TV show smiles at the end of a nipper bum. There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? What's that supposed to mean? That finger looks like E.T.'s finger. <laughs> it's got 12 joints in it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. <laughs> um, me you. too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here. Living in blind denial day after day. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? <laughs> denial? This isn't even a river! <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you kept talking about the how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. I was just after the countdown. That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the... There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right here in the middle of a major urban area. The police blur. <laughs> On the contrary, the best of not blur. Just... <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, the best <laughs> just that powerful. <laughs> they do not blur. <laughs> they do not blur. Oh, this might this might not be related, but I saw some police officers trying it's, to dig yeah, through the wall, and Monokuma was... killed them, and then they built the wall, they fixed it, and then the police were like, "We're coming back, we're bringing armed forces," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> might not be related though. <laughs> then don't say it. Okay, my bad. <laughs> nope, gotta <laughs> say it. Don't fuck, fuck you. Me. I don't like you, dumb bitch. <laughs> now I want to. <laughs> It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space and smoking weed. I don't even know where I get it from. When all of a sudden... <laughs> Monokuma got your back, homeboy. I heard it. The police. <laughs> you heard what? Hmm. A sound that... 
I don't really know what it was. It sounded like someone saying, what's for breakfast? <laughs> what kind of sound? Sorry, I'm just practicing my, my square form. Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it... If you're gonna make me... Ugh. <laughs> it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? What the fuck could that have been? Well, you don't know. No, I'm not sure. I might have just forgotten. Uh, it could be they're renovating the third floor. For serious? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything, and I was really high at the time. <laughs> but you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Actually, I heard it too. <gasps> it must be real! <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know. Monokuma? Oh yeah, Monokuma. it is. <laughs> it's just, it's just what you talking about was never. Is this the same fucking scene from before? No, no, the the the, the people, the relevant people are missing. With the dead ones, you mean? Yeah, the dead ones are missing. That's it. They've just taken them out then. Yeah. He's arrived. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> and that, that can kind of sound like construction in a way. It was a machine gun that I know exactly what it was. Oh. Are there two Hope Speak Academies next to each other and like the events of the second game happen next door? I'm not saying anything. It is, isn't it? I'm not saying anything. Am I right? I'm not saying anything. Finn, I mean, did I, I just... I'm, I've am i revealed too much to you already. <laughs> I can't tell you if you're right or wrong. <laughs> Have you even seen the screenshots to the second game? No. Okay. <laughs> I, I've been I've been avoiding spoilers like the plague. Good. All right, carry what on. Are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered and ready to be fucked in the ass. <laughs> it's a secret, little secret. And? It's a secret. <laughs> Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why'd you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? Yes. I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Hey guys, I'm Frank. I'm Frank. <laughs> The next Blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! Hey, um... So, I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motive? Motive... Uh... Is, it... Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! <laughs> I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. Man, this game's boring then. I'm going home. <laughs> hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let's begin. You don't have my permission. Ha ha. Shit. <laughs> Well, you got me there. <laughs> yeah, I guess we better just fucking... We've got a bit of a stalemate. <laughs> not, not gonna go back on my word, I mean... Uh... I guess I'll just call you here every night until you eventually give me permission, then. Fuck it, let's just sit here. I got time, I don't need to eat or anything. <laughs> so this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's... Fit... That there's things. 
The Debbie things. Debbie things. You don't want other people Billy to know. Monday. Sorry, my black half just got through. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Except my Kodo, that guy, like, there's nothing. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. Ah! embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Oh no, he's gonna reveal our names! <laughs> oh, he's got one of Kyoko. He's got one of everyone. So take a second to take a peek. Hmm. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what so was what written inside. Think, what do you think is the most embarrassing, the most embarrassing memory or or, or worst secret that the world's most boring man could have? Um, think of the lamest fucking secret possible. Maybe he wet himself once. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's the most generic fucking thing. I fucking love this game. <laughs> where it's shit, it's great, and where it's great, it's brilliant. <laughs> What? Oh. Hell? She doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find out about this? He broke one of the rules in high school. And, and the holds once. <laughs> Everyone started talking at once after those first two. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then... All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. What do you mean, the world? Oh. Because it's sure. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Why would anyone care then? It'd be better if he said, I'll tell everyone else who's here. Well, he will. That's what he's trying to get but, at. Like, <sighs> yeah, wouldn't be. That'd be so embarrassing. What he should do is pick one of the worst ones, like, uh, one of the, um... Oh shit, something just occurred to me. Mm hmm I mean, like, who here has the most pride? Who here must have had something embarrassing happen to them that they would probably kill to keep hidden it, from everyone? It's not just, embar it's not just embarrassing, not it's just embarrassing, a, a secret. But, but like, who oh. here... Who here do you think, and don't answer, this is rhetorical, um, because you already know. Who here probably is like, wants to seem so tough, but probably has done something or had something happen that's incredibly embarrassing? Well, who do you think? Mondo. Mondo or Taka. Maybe okay. Kyoko is an important one as well, because she obviously has hidden things about her. She's the ultimate... Huh? <laughs> Other than that, Celeste, but Celeste is already, like, a, an obvious gambling addict and proud of it, so I don't think it's her. It's gonna be one of those three. Alright. Like, I mean, it can't be Hifumi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, or, or Toko. Probably just says you have a crush on Biakuya. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one of those four. Alright. <clears throat> So that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. Good, good job, you fucking idiot. They're, <laughs> they're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? I wet the bed in fifth grade. There you go, you got nothing on me, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fucking, like, one of them's gotta be they killed someone in the real world, and he's like, <laughs> oh no, they'll find out I wet the bed when I was a child. We'd never... Yeah, you know what? I'd never kill someone over wet in the bed either. What did you say? He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh, no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way too... is still way too connected to the outside world? 
I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know. No matter what, I... No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, other than this school, I... What? You're a robot, dude. Shut up. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're really saying that you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay. Then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel better. So sad. So depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. Oh, two, two, give me two seconds to keep reading. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking first thing that pops up. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean... Yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. That's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? I'm going to kill you all. You can't know the truth. Listen to me. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Let's tell each other what they are. You hear me? Yeah! Oh, That's the secrets in those envelopes right here, right now. Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. No one cares what you think. What? Besides, I... I don't want to talk about she it. She doesn't matter, ignore her then. I don't care what anyone says, I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what her secret might be. Keep going. Oh, that's me, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just human nature to want to hear about it when you say it's improbable. Come on, it'll be good, Boomer. Absolutely not. Who did you kill? Come on. It's okay, on. just a little bit. Come on, Boomer, Boomer, Boomer. Honestly. As I said. Violent. Here oh. we go. Come on, Boomer, 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 I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. I mean, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Jahiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. Uh, after I try my best... To become strong, then I can tell everyone. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. <laughs> I have a horribly tea finger. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. <sighs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that except for me, right? God, I gotta tell. I gotta do it. I can't. I can't let them know. Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk. Better to but... be dead than to think of me as a bedwetter. <laughs> you hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. <laughs> So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep beating it makes me worry even more. <laughs> oh, good boy. Me, me talk of uh, me, sir. I'm a good boy. Ding dong, bing bong. Let's play ping pong. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong. Let's play ping pong. <laughs> it's that time. Great, we get another Monokuma Theater, my favorite. Yay! <laughs> Nighttime already, uh, okay, it's all clear today. Of course. Good idea, we need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety that I couldn't shake, but we left things as they were. 
and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. I'm really curious about all these secrets now. Mm, I'm sure you are. Ugh, I don't... I don't... I don't care. Ugh, shut up. Just go to sleep. Please. I could smell a murder. Now, but what I didn't know is that it, is that even then a tragedy was taking place. Thank Christ. I'm with Monokuma. This has been dull. Oh no! This is the tragedy. Does he get a new object every time? Yep. Every time. Now it's a gun. Yep. Uh, passive. He eventually, eventually like becomes buried under shit. Not, not literal shit. I mean, like... yeah. I was gonna say, how do you get Swimmer Girl in there with him? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Uh, bet you wanna. More an ink. I'm gonna shut the window. There's some fucking smelly Spaniards yeah, out there yeah, shouting can, and shit. Yeah. Shut up, you fucking cunts! <laughs> ah, okay. Back to this fun, happy game. Oh Good shit, morning, shit, I... shit! I just fucking fell on the fucking... Oh. Right. Hey buddy, how's it going? Just in my room? <laughs> Wah! Hey, hey bro, how's it going? <laughs> hey man! Would you try making friends with Monokuma? Absolutely. I would already be friends with Monokuma. Okay, so... A bop poo Woop poo poo I think is what it's meant to be. Oh. Nice reaction. I'm glad to see you don't... I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean... Even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates? What? Say what? Oh, what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. W what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to find out. Good luck! I love him. Something's happened to someone, like a thing has occurred to a person. <laughs> you, a person, has had something occur to you that is possibly of a negative nature. Is it... was it... It's just an amalgamation of colours that vaguely resembles Makota. Are we talking about... are we thinking about the same thing? Yes, meme? we are. No, it can't be. Is someone dead then? Like, I don't know. It seems like a shit way to reveal it. There's no way someone would... But what if someone else went to bed? My god. No, what if... What if Sir Point was especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Hmm. Hmm. Literally everyone I said it could have been has gone. <laughs> ah, Makoto. Uh, um... Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura... And Biakuya, these were the ingredients used. <laughs> <laughs> these are the ingredients used to create the perfect character. <laughs> but but an but an extra ingredient was accidentally added to the mix. Neutrality. Toko. Toko. Okay. <laughs> Alright, neutrality's a good one. You're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Mooma Mooma said. Or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. Space. The something? Oh, it can't be. Has it happened again? I don't think she's ever going to kill someone. I don't want her to. She seems so nice. Murder? She's actually, a, she's actually a big, cuddly bear. Unlike Monokuma. Yeah, he's a small, cuddly bear. That blows up. After hearing what Monokuma had said, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. I wet the bed again. Shit. <laughs> it took everything I have. Um. So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? The fuck knows? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hmm. 
just old memories. Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? Fucking... To judge someone else's... Some... To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. You die too if we can't figure out who it is. This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Stop saying that already. Yeah, seriously, that's not that's not a good strategy. When there's a murder, you should be really helpful. There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Oh wait, no, he's always been like this. <laughs> I get brainwashed when I get high. I get brainwashed. He just fucking dies. That's the end of him. No more. He's gone. <laughs> That's not important. What matters right now is we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. I I assume it's a she. <laughs> Let's all split up and begin looking. Hm. The game is afoot. Why can't it be an arm? <laughs> right. Go to the second floor because it's somewhere on there. The murder, the, the murder pretty much always happens on the new, on the fret, on the fresh floor because the, the previous floor there, gets then? forgotten about. Um, I was thinking there'd be only three. There's this one. There's that one. There's, there's that, that one, one, and then there's that one, and then there's that one, there and then there's that one, and then there's that one. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the trial. Yeah, fuck, I just completely forgot. Wait, I'm just gonna back that shit up a sec. I went the wrong way. <gasps> oh god, I'm hiccuping. Oh wait, that's not no, it. No, no, Where am I you want to go to the stairs? You want to go to the stairs? Stop. Pre open the map. Teleport. <laughs> teleport to the. Teleport to the uh, to the next floor. No, no, that's okay. Oh, oh, it is okay. I'm safe. Fuck right. you. Explore the floor. Where do you think the murder occurred? Oh, spoilers! It's a murder. No. Actually, you predict you predicted the murder two episodes ago. I did. Yeah, you predicted exactly where it was going to happen. Um, have you? For of course, you fucking forgotten. Uh, my memory's been getting worse. Uh, all right, so ah, so oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, where, where was it? Uh, this way. All right. The pool's been turned red, motherfuckers. Pink. <laughs> Oh yeah. I mean, I I guess I just. Huh? The door's open, but aren't aren't these supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Thanks for confirming it's a murder. Investigation. Clear now. Just as I thought. Be a kuya. I see. Judging from what he said there, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on! <laughs> and the locker rooms. There's, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? I forgot, you're an idiot. <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering. As if talking only to himself. <clears throat> Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. What? <laughs> Why is that relevant? In that moment, time seemed to freeze. <sighs> oh. That's so grim. Like that's act that actually made me feel sick when I first uh... played this. I f it's it's so brutal. You can't stop looking at it, can you? I'm looking at the words. I don't give a fuck about her. I mean, like <laughs> bloodlust. Hmm. What? I don't even know how. How long it took me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. What what gets me? This isn't just a murder, then. Like, 
You don't like if you if you just kill someone, they're just dead. Someone has put effort into this. Someone halfway knows what they're doing to put uh, the body in this position. But as soon as I did, ah, uh, a wild almost fuck off. I don't care. Makoto is literally the fucking worst. Boy's life of despair though. Hmm. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out the ground. Byakuya, on the other hand, ha 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 ha. Very strange. <laughs> Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Well, he probably has delusions of being Sherlock. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. Could it be rope? And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Hmm. Quick, look at it upside down! <laughs> it says Leon! <laughs> Somehow! Oh, I looked into that. I think, even in the Japanese version, um, Sayaka wrote the wrote Leon in English, in English letters. It was probably much more of a subtlety so, yeah. then. So that would have been that would have been really difficult for uh, for the uh, Japanese audience to get. They probably would have oh, seen them. They're writing in seven. English. <laughs> Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? But there's levels. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? Jesus Christ, I hate Makoto so much. I want to talk to this guy competently. <clears throat> like, I, I want to be like, yeah, and look, if you notice the rope, like, it had to be someone tall to be able to hoist her up. It couldn't have been like one of the other girls unless it was Say uh, S Sakura. Couldn't have been Makoto because he's too small. Hifumi probably wouldn't have been able to lift the body that much. It's, it's got to be one of the boys who's like... It's got to be either Crystal Ball Guy, Mondo, or Taka then. It's in the girls' locker room. Which is exactly why it happened in the girls' locker room. To throw us off. Okay. The, but the, then how would, the, how would the guy have been able to get into the locker room? We're about to have an investigation, Finn. <laughs> I'm just, just asking the question. I mean, I know the answer. Well... Oh, and, sh oh, and uh, be prepared, because we're going to enter the class trial without immediately knowing who the murderer is. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Um, do you want to hear what I'm thinking, then? Go on, then. I don't think they do this again, because they did this last time with the whole friendship betrayal, but if I was to pin it on someone who probably has experience with killing is very violent and was friends enough that he could probably swindle his way into the girl's locker room, I'd say Mondo. Okay. Swindling, the only... into, the girl's lock... Swindling into the girl's locker room, though, he would have been shot by the, uh, by the gun. True. Unless... Hmm... Oh, let's 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 carry on. Hang on, can you get into here from the pool? I have always wanted that, and I'm going to assume no for the benefit of the doubt. So it, that has nothing to do with it, then. No, it, okay. it, it. Assume that it, it. Assume that the door, the door to the locker room that you didn't <coughs> you didn't come out of, just disappears in your existence. Okay, so the way I see it, it's either going to be Kyoko. It could be to uh, Toko, but I don't think it's Toko. Kyoko, uh, Taka, or Mondo. Okay. But I don't think it's Taka, and I really don't think it's Kyoko either, because Kyoko, while she has a secret... It could have been Celeste, now that I think about it. Hmm. Hmm. All oh, right, we'll, coming, we'll find out. And before I can begin to clear my head... There he is. <laughs> there, I'm screaming at something. What? Chihiro? Hmm. Ding. 
A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. It's the body discovery announcement. You've got about 30 minutes, maybe. So if you just want to whack one off to the body, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that? Uh, it's called a voice message. You should be used to them. Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's... Death? <laughs> during Sayaka's uh, uh, body announcement. So you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fair fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? The hero really is. Right there, dead. Dead, yes. <laughs> dead. Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Oh god, he's really getting delusional now. Like, he's living his fucking Sherlock fantasies. <laughs> uh, time passed, blah blah blah, to find him where to the bank. and I was feeling emo- <laughs> I was feeling emotions! Oh. Oh shit, she's going Super Saiyan! Ha! <laughs> Damn, I couldn't keep her safe! There's oh. another victim. Maybe they're trying to throw me off the Taka thing because he's so sad, but... Which, mean, which means we are now in, in the same position <clears throat> once again. Fuck, man. What the, what the fuck is this? It's called a murder, Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he seems happy about it. <laughs> a body right in front of me looking so sexy, ba bub. Is this a dream? This is a dream, baby dumb do. <laughs> In fact, I haven't even been murmured. I don't have any memory of even being alive. Shut up. She does not like him. Does she have something against fatties? <laughs> Alright. Right oh along. Christ, why'd there have to be blood on the dumbbell? Uh, of all the fucking things. Okay, what we got here? Dumbbell got blood on it. That's written there. She's been strung up. The investigation hasn't started yet. That's weird. Uh, do I'm uh, investigating. Spec okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see where she's been hit. Shut! Don't fucking tell me what to do. We're all Makoto. Right? We do as we're told. I'm I'm motherfucking Kai. I'll investigate where I want to. Well, you're not Kai, you're Makoto, so fucking suck the Akuya's cock and inspect the wall. Ah! The word blood, I know! I don't think it's any kind of dying message. <laughs> Couldn't have been, she was tied up. It's just too strange. And she's tied up. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? <laughs> Do you remember this? Yeah, this is talking about the serial killer. So the serial killer is one of us. A murderous yeah, fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. Like they're, they're, they're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And, and what nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack? Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend. Creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? Mm, or it could be that the actual Genocide Jack is in here with us. But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, do you say Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! 
Why does she keep There's... getting blue? I'm sick of it. There's no way. Because she swims. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. I can, a smart one. <laughs> but is it there? Toko! Yep, convicted. Killer. Is she dead as well? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Oh. <laughs> you know what's pointing towards the entrance of girls? <laughs> well. Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No, why? W H Y. W H Y. I why? She could use those as fucking whips. <laughs> you remember fucking... how she said? She, you remember how she said she passes out at the sight of blood? Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Good dunk. She fainted. That's. Did not sound good. Looked totally fine, though. She <laughs> fell right on top of the dumbbell. <laughs> Toko! Now it's covered in blood! Oh, yeah, that was there before. <laughs> <laughs> Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! There's blood on that woman's face on the painting there. Oh, um... Oh, my, my. I just remembered what she said about how she faints any time she sees the color pink. So she I thought is I said hermaphrodite then. <laughs> so she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. No shit. What a weird observation to make. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Ah, uh, so since she didn't feed on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. Yeah, I'm fine. Blood! <laughs> as if she'd heard, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. Because we couldn't be asked to draw her a laying down enemy. <laughs> oh. It is. Uh. I'm very uncomfortable. This is... Fuck the murder. This... This is true horror. <laughs> you don't know true horror yet. Are you are you full of despair? Now I know oh, true despair. I gotta get out of this what? place. I gotta kill someone. What? Sorry about that. I was just so shocked. Dead, dead, dead. You know? Wow, it, it, the, the, the right. retard voice was perfect. No, it's no. She's not meant to have the retard voice when she, when she see um when when this happens. Why? Because stuff. Just roll with it. Is she really horny? Yes. D is she into necrophilia? Maybe. Oh, God. Toko, you're okay? I was fanning you with this book you wrote. Love making for zombies. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> what was that, a dead body? Hey, are you dead? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. Anyone want to put her out of her misery? The world has a, f the world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Well, Mrs. Quack and Toby, I mean, she sounds completely dibbon. <laughs> You're right, she does sound completely dibbon. No, 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 everything's fine, at least the, st at least the stars are gone. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> it's clear to me that, uh, that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't, bub. Um... Taka, could you help <laughs> me? Well, she totally bubbled. Very well. You can take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation? The Mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Mm. 
Don't make me repeat my There's no question that Jihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course. <laughs> right as rain. But don't but don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life, Badoo. The fact of life, Badoo. <laughs> because that's how graduation works. I, I, you know what? I never graduated myself, but I don't think that's how it goes down. <laughs> then it's happened again. No shit. Shut the fuck up. Fuck. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, you fucking idiot. What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls. You know that? Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Whoa. Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop, Stop Monokuma logging and give... <laughs> <laughs> and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later. So please do your very tippy toppy best on this investigation. No way. Do we really gotta do another investigation? No, we could just all allow ourselves to die. Okay, she was on her period at the time. Is that in the corpse? <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed, by the way? Yes, yes, I have. Having to suspect all our other friends. She could have done it. <laughs> I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no. I hate it too. Help me. I've, I, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's no way to run. Such it's just... no use. It's no use. Just accept it already. After all. Blood is just pink liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon... What, do you want to die? Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now! Go ahead! You're a waste of space! D damn you! A dead body is an object?! Jihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect, or I'll beat some into you! Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. K Kyoko! Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro... That's right. Then, unless we do something more, victims could start piling up. Unless we do something and, more, victims, Unless we do something... You got it victims. wrong! <laughs> Shit! Forget the victims. If we mess this up, we're all bad Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on! If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. If any... In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? I don't remember any blah blah that. I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around killing everyone, your lovely student life would all be over, right? So In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. I can't say under I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, hmm, I need to reevaluate my plans. <laughs> then one more, one more person's life could still be in danger. Hmm. Interesting. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! Well, well, for now, Tucker and me are... You mean you're still <laughs> here? <laughs> Tucker and I are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice! I'm gonna get dropped off. Radical! There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. The, the, the candy, you whistle, the whistle, you beat. 
Oh, I hate shitty, shitty bang bang. <laughs> if we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. If Don't we do not, there's an afterlife. If we do not adapt to finding her murderer, we will all die. I have die. adapted my eyes to see what is in front of me. <laughs> That's true. I hate this, but if if we want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. <clears throat> Investigate. All right. Do you want to want to do the investigation, or should we call it here and do the investigation next episode? Um, how long has it been? Like we got about ten minutes left. Ten, let's, twelve let's, minutes. Let's left. do some investigating. We'll call it. Okay. Call it. We'll investigate the room. This room. Cause of death was a blow to the head by a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all oh, it says. Well, it's not like there's any point complaining about it. Blah 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 blah. She didn't suffer at least. <clears throat> well, I don't know. We can only, she, it's only saying what the cause of death was. I suppose, yeah. It could have been that someone just had her strung there and was using her as a punching bag. Oh, the thought. <sighs> hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Do you need something from me? Yes, I need you to come around with me and I'm going to start calling you Watson. <laughs> Naturally. Of course, life without purpose is quite dull, you know. He really is, he's turning us into his Watson. Um, so what did you need? I'm going to let... Fucking called it! I'm going to let you corrop... Co co cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? To let you collaborate with me. I don't care. He says he never wants to cooperate, well now he is. I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Solve? No, I just... You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. <clears throat> now then, shall we get started? But... We need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't Stop really talking to me! Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Right. Press um... tab or Y. Press Y. Ding! <laughs> Yeah, I could figure out what the points of interest were. Alright, first things first, I want to establish that it was the dumbbell that killed her. I give him blah 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 blah, a dead body, cheer, yeah, I get it. Strange. But the more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must have been Genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, but... What? But we're still not sure he did it. Is that what you wanted to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell next to the dead body. Who'd have guessed? <laughs> the Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Locker room dumbbell. Excellent. Right. There's blood here. Mm-hmm. There's a first uh, splattered on the uh, murder. Okay. Right, and... Uh... Something doesn't make sense, and this is probably just me. The wound is on her left side, our right, right? The, the wound is like there, yeah? Why is there blood okay. here? Now that's a good question. So obviously she was hit on the head before she was tied up. Mm. So she could have been standing where C Sakura is. Mm. Someone has attacked her and then tied her up. But mm. then why tie her up? Like, I understand whoever did this is probably a pretty sick motherfucker, but, like, why link it to yourself in that way even if they don't know you are Genocide Jack? That, that being said, I don't understand crazy people. Hmm... The word bloodlust is written on the wall. What's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. All right, we've already got that one. Um, okay, that's just her again. Uh, the poster. Mm. And that's the only other thing in the room, isn't it? And then talk to everyone. Okay. Poster's got some blood on it. But then, how did the blood get on the poster? If she was okay, let's 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 try and paint a picture here. She was stood here, hit in the head. There, how'd the blood get here? Because I don't think the splatter would have gone that way. There would have been some on the wall, or there would have been some around this part. So how did the blood get there? Hmm. There's nothing else here. I want to know why these are just on the fucking floor. 
Uh, alright. Because people are messy. She took her time examining Chihiro's corpse. She poked and prodded, going over every inch of the lifeless body. You're a very strange woman, you know, being able to touch a dead body with absolutely no trouble. Why well, do if you... we don't, well, if we don't investigate, Hang on a minute, then why who is the he fuck the is going one bringing this up? Yeah, I thought that was weird. Like, if no, if I don't do it, who the fuck will? We need to investigate. No, but like, he seems very practical. I don't think he'd have a problem touching a dead body either. She seems to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. All right, we'll talk to Sakura then. <clears throat> I use this locker room all the time. Now, it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But... But why why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else, then carried here. She was very light. Oh. She was very light, that's true. It wouldn't have been hard for someone to carry her, but still... I think she came here on her own, by choice. What makes you say that? She'd been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came in her exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, she was apparently killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Ina and myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us in more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. I can't do that voice for long, like it's slipping. My throat's going oh, a bit. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed it was slipping. Ugh, I can't get as high anymore. And instead, she came in her exercise in the middle of the night? Perhaps, but it's but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come here alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So are you saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she, she also would have come with someone else? Literally, yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... If she uh, wasn't... Can I press Y? Okay, I thought we could inspect the carpet. All right. let's, let's look at it this way then. It's impossible for her to have been killed outside of this room because the dumbbell is the one that has blood on it. Mm -hmm. We can link that directly to the murder since she has a dumbbell-shaped hole in the side of her face. Um... Hmm... But... Okay, okay, so let's say... Let's go with the theory that she was killed outside of here. Then, what if whoever... then it would have had to have been a, then it would have had to have been a woman to then open the locker room and bring her inside? Unless the gun, I mean, like the gun. Does the gun distinguish? Like, I guess it just distinguishes whoever opens the door, right? All it does is shoot you if you um if is if you go inside after somebody else has already gone inside without swiping your own card. Then what if the murderer killed her outside somehow? and took her body and used her body to open the door. Or just took her card and then opened the door. But I thought it could distinguish between the two, couldn't it? No, no, no. It only shoots... Okay. If, if you follow in after someone without swiping your own card, regardless of whether or not it is your gendered room, it's the, the gun shoots you. Machine gun fire. No. That, that was earlier. That couldn't have been at the same time. Because what I'm thinking is, someone has gone in and used her as a human shield. There are no there are no other injuries on her body besides the blood. Besides I know, blood I'm just looking, true. there's some dots there, but like... Ah, I see. Alright, uh, we should probably get everyone to like have a look and see if they've got their talk cards. Let's talk to Mondo. <clears throat> Dude has a real complex about being weak. You heard Ch Chihiro talking about it, right? All I need to get stronger? Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. Up here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. After what? Uh, fucking excuse me. I can't believe Sakura's letting that slide. She's right there. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. Hmm. Okay. Now I believe it's time for us to move on. Huh? Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but... Let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. 
All right, should we call it there? I, what if, is there a way to check if the gun is missing any rounds? Uh, not, not important then, okay. <laughs> so this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigate fucker off. Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Okay, is that good then? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, this is an interesting little murder. Um, Finn seemed a bit more disturbed by it than I was. Ah, that just looks like my basement. <laughs> Body and all, except that one wriggles. So, what are your final thoughts? Um... Be yourself. Don't worry about what other people would think of you. What if Toko's listening to this? Uh... Don't be yourself. Be considerate to others. Be the best you can be. Unless you're Toko. But whoever you are, be yourself. Don't worry about what other people no, think of you. No, that's bad. Shut up, Finn. I'm not having that crap on here. Don't be uh, yourself. I chose, I, I chose my words very carefully. No, I don't care. I'm... Ch okay, go on then. No, that's it. I've made my, those are my final thoughts. Okay. Don't be yourself. Be the best you can be. If you're still a cunt after that, then you're just a horrible human being and you should accept it. Some people just are. <sighs> what a good episode. Bye!